Yo what's up guys it's Aptrix here finally after a long time we have a brand new revolutionary emulator for android devices which is the steam pc games emulator for android now 2025 has just started and we are already getting amazing emulators and in today's video i'll be showing you guys how to set it up on your android devices we'll be also trying out some steam title to see how well does this emulator actually work now this emulator is known as luvia i hope i am pronouncing it correctly it is supposed to run steam games on android by using the winlater base before getting started if you guys are new here hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification as i upload similar videos let's get started all right guys let's get started through today's video i have already imported the blue vr steam client on my android device and let me show you guys some information about this lightweight unofficial steam client for android now blue vr is completely open source and it provides you the ability to play drm free games from your steam account and chat with your friends and you will be able to see some of the gameplay videos which the developer has attached now currently it is in its beta stages the first release of pluvia emulator was released just yesterday and it even supports steam cloud saves which means that you can play games on your mobile and save it in steam now the current latest version on the pluvia github page is the version 1.1.0 released 10 hours ago it has some improvements over the version 1.0 first release which was released 2 days ago view games library add your steam games on android execute drm free games sync saves view friend list etc now i am unsure if it will work on a snapdragon 8 elite processor android device but we'll try it out regardless i have heard that this emulator only works till snapdragon 8 gen 3 processor nonetheless let's tap on the allow button and here we go right here is the ui of this app we'll need to log into our steam account using our username and password now that we have successfully signed in you will be able to see in the notification bar it says starting up so let's wait until we have successfully logged in into our steam account so here we go there was a crashing issue so it says recent crash we'll tap on okay right here is my steam library and you guys will be able to see the section below now pluvia can only emulate or run non drm games which means that some small games can work in this emulator let's try out pico park for today's video we'll tap on this button after a step on proceed and it will be adding this pc game on our android device directly through my steam account and here we go guys our game has been successfully loaded now i can simply tap on the play button if i want to play this pc game on my android device once again i am unsure if it will work on my snapdragon 8 elite processor android device as i have heard that currently this emulator or app has some compatibility issues nonetheless we'll try it regardless if it doesn't work then we'll try it out on a different android device so here we go looks like the loading is complete and as it uses winlater base it is going to be bit interesting to see how well does it actually work you guys will be able to see the arrow right here and the emulator crashed now this is a bit expected obviously as i mentioned before we'll try out pico park classic edition as well because in my time i have tried out this game and it had actually worked on steam on my android device and once again it is giving us an error now there is an another interesting setting in the pluvia emulator so you can get an option to open container let's tap on this option before we actually take a look at gameplay test and here we go guys as you will be able to see win later has successfully started now as i mentioned before it runs steam game on your android with the help of winlater pc emulator and you will also be able to test direct 3d to see if your graphics output works but as you just saw snapdragon 8 elite not supported in winlater with turnip drivers so here we go guys i have loaded the pluvia emulator on my samsung galaxy tab s9 ultra and we'll be trying out the same game you can also go to the friend section if you want to add your friends to play games with them well as you might know setting up steam inside the winlater android is a very difficult task well pluvia makes it easier that's about it the compatibility will be similar to winlater so you won't be able to emulate high end games obviously anyways here we go i have tapped on the play button and we'll wait for few seconds and here we go guys looks like the game is about to start well for some reason i am just seeing a black screen all right there we go now we have a cursor okay the emulator just crashed let's try out pico park classic edition this is the game that i tested out on steam in winlater android and it actually worked so here we go will it work no guys it has crashed once again now to play steam games on android with the help of this emulator you will need to use a controller or a physical keyboard slash wireless keyboard though unfortunately as it is currently in its beta stages none of the games actually seem to work and there is no settings bar to change the settings of winlater container to change the graphics driver and apply best settings like choosing box 64 version etc 
so we'll need to wait for the upcoming updates i have really high hopes for this app and the developer seems to be serious about this project as well to make sure it gets as optimized and as playable as possible anyways that's going to be it for today's video do let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think about it should i also try out games like forza horizon 4 well obviously they will not work nonetheless i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching goodbye